Last week we've gone over hair particle system in Blender and made this hair right here. If you haven't seen that, I put it on top right corner. Check it out. In this one, we're gonna give it a simple hair shader. Also, we're gonna talk about how to give it different hair colors and all that stuff. Let's go. Before we start, one thing you can do in Eevee that makes the results a lot better is to select any light you have in your scene, go to object data properties under the shadow, enable contact shadow. While this option is off, you don't have that much contact shadow and the scene looks kind of flat. But when you enable it, it's like when you change the shadow settings in a game from low to high or ultra. As you can see right here, the difference is massive, day and night. But be aware that it makes it heavier and takes a longer time to render. While you're in Eevee, make sure you put the hair settings on a strip for better results in viewport. Okay, select your model, add a new material. In the particle properties in the render section, select that material as the material for the hair. Go to shading tab and delete this crap. Shift A and add mix shader. Shift A again and add gloss glossy bsdf then add diffuse bsdf connect both of them to each shader then mix shader to surface shift a and add mix rgb this is gonna be our primary hair color mixture in the first one choose the hair color you want simply drag the color 1 to color 2 click on it and make it a lot darker shift a and add hair info connect the random to the factor now the bright and dark colors are mixed together randomly resulting in a fake contrast that kind of makes it more realistic in eevee obviously you can change the color whenever you want to see what fits you best. In the glossy BSDF you can change the roughness or the intensity of the reflections by changing the color. Just like the reflection in principal BSDF, darker color means less reflection on the hair. I keep it in this area. You can change the contrast by adding a color ramp and dropping it between the hair info and mix RGB. By dragging them around, you can tweak the randomness of these two colors to see which color you want to see more. I place a summer right here. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Select your color ramp, shift D to duplicate it and drop it somewhere else. This time connect the color ramp to color 1. Connect the intercept to color ramp. This is gonna give us a gradient color based on the length of the hair. First color is your main color and the second one is gonna be the transition color. As you can see, the hair goes from white to black, really smooth. Now you can drag the handles of the color ramp, get them closer to increase the contrast between two colors. I want the hair to start with black and fade into white, so I drag the white handle to the right side of the black one. Now it's reversed. You can use this method in a lot of cases, like those hair that transition from black to blonde, or the old Billie Eilish hairstyle, green brunette thing, I guess. I'm gonna add different colors to make it cooler. Click on any of the handles, then click on color in the bottom to bring up the color picker and pick your color. I want another color in the back, so I click on the plus icon. You see when you add a new color, it is spawn in between the handles, so I drag it to the end because I want the color in the back. Then I change it to something like pink, now every strand of hair starts with black to the purple and ends with pink. You can still mess around with all of these color ramps to get the results that you're happy with. Then you can render it in Eevee or Cycles, whatever you want. It will look good in both of them. But what if you don't want the colors to be based on length, but based on density? Detach the color ramp from the hair info. Instead add mapping and texture coordinates. If you have the add-on enabled, you can simply press Ctrl T. Connect the generator to mapping and mapping to the color ramp. I'm gonna add another color, maybe another one. And another one. It's getting kind of familiar though. Gay! Now you can tweak the numbers in mapping. Maybe it's get it up or change the position to see the colors better and it's ready to be rendered. That was it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.